So we have a lot to do. Yes, yes this, we do. This lockdown has been quite an experience. <laughs> Hi, my name is Edmund Hashi. I'm Siham Hashi. And I'm Iman Hashi. And we We're are the owners, owners of The Pink, Pink Doors Beauty Bar. Bar. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so The Pink Doors Beauty Bar has multiple services such as nails, pedicures, eyelashes, and eyebrows. Yes. And um, I, the location that I chose was um, on Weston Road. This building's actually 200 years old. I found that out after we signed the lease. <laughs> yeah. Um, yes. yeah, 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 my girl um, <laughs> decided on her own without consulting anybody, yes, this is the location, yep. and I'm gonna sign the lease, so. Yep. Yes. Um, you know, in hindsight, I. I, I love I love this location, yeah. but you know it's I a love two hundred year old building. Yeah. yeah, she just followed her intuition, didn't tell anybody, signed the lease, and everybody freaked out. But then <laughs> it all worked out, so it's okay. And I was like, okay, let's get in here and let's start the design process. <laughs> yeah, um, and that was interesting. The fact that it's an older building, there was a lot of it's an historic building. There was a lot of things we could not renovate, like yeah. um, but it all worked out, yeah. and we made a pink heaven. Yay! First of all, I can't even believe what has happened. With the employees, you have supported them. I just still can't get over it. Like, I know. when we created Pink Doors, it was a place of love and just good vibes. And yeah, I know. It's just. I mean, it, was, it, it sucks, but you know, I had some issues yes. with them do. personally, yes. But uh, I just think it's, it's, it's for the best. Yeah. And now that, especially like all the people that, that you've been interviewing yeah. and you know, it's, it's really hard to find really good nail techs because of course, especially with our standard, but yeah. um, Not only that, during the pandemic, everybody became entrepreneurs. Yes. Yeah, everybody built their own home studios. Yeah. So like a lot of people want to work for themselves. They don't want to work for a salon anymore. Yeah. So it's really, really hard to find people. And we also opened the pink doors during a pandemic. Exactly. We were only officially open for one day. Literally. What a, what a great time to, to decide to open <laughs> business. Yeah. yeah. And um, specifically, like, when the lockdown happened, uh, we were only open for one day. Yeah. And um, it's, That was November 22nd. Yes. Yeah. And November 23rd, we are locked <laughs> Um Some of the biggest challenges, because I feel like... Uh, all entrepreneurs and businesses have suffered during this time. Um, but our biggest challenge was, and it was kind of a bit heartbreaking, is we did have a f family of employees oh, Lord, yeah. that Idman actually connected with and found. Um, yeah, so we had, I had a guy that um, was doing my nails for a while, and he was working at a nail salon, and I, I was telling him about the nail salon that I was going to open up, but this was during the renovation time. So well, when I was ready to open up, I, I talked to him, I brought him to the store, he loved how the store looked, and I, told, I asked him if he wants to work here. Um, he also told me that his girlfriend does nails as well, and I said, bring her over as well. Um, they both came to look at the store, they both loved the store, I basically gave them their own key, and th the store was basically theirs. That's really what it was. I helped them get an apartment, closer to the store because where they were living before was too far. Yeah. That's how amazing nail techs that they were. So they were open, we were open one day, successful, beautiful day. Yes. During the pandemic, I was helping them. Yeah. Uh, financially. Yes. And one day, it was, it was probably the, the, sec the first or second day we were legally allowed to be open. Yeah, yeah we, were, we were all getting ready yeah, to, to you know, making plans to reopen. Yeah. Like, re got some new furniture. Yeah, new furniture, new manicure tables, the pedicure stations were getting fixed. Um, we were taking all the paper off of the, the windows, cleaning the windows. And um, <clears throat> that was the day I walked in and they, were, they literally had like bags packed. But the girl that I interviewed last yes. week, good energy, amazing. She's ready to start. She's young, 22, very, very positive. Okay, great. And very, so, very good. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, work. yeah, yeah. You know, I'm a, I'm a stickler for, <laughs> for good nails. First of all, I don't even have my nails done because I'm waiting for the pink doors <laughs> experience. Yeah. Exactly. Totally. exactly. Okay, so as far as employees, like how many do we have locked down? So I had an interview last week, a okay. girl. She's 22, she's young, I've seen her, uh, well, her resume is her Instagram. She does great, she has great shape, she does great Oh, no, I saw her, she's, yeah. she's really, really good. Yeah, her energy was great, she's excited, she loves the store, everything was great. And then I have an interview with a girl tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the sooner we can lock down. At like, least three. At, at least three, yeah. I mean, I would prefer Four? Yeah. But if we have three, two, three to reopen. If we have okay. two nail artists and a pedicure um, girl, that's all, that's all we need to start with. Okay. And I was shocked. I said, what's going on? And they're like, oh, we're leaving. And I was like, With oh. no notice. <laughs> Zero notice. And I was like, oh, okay, why? Um, 
they talked about going back to school and some other things. And But um, it didn't feel right. Like no. they just didn't feel like they were being honest. We weren't no. there, but her intuition was like, like I no. was on a flight back <laughs> and I was getting all these crazy text messages and yeah. I was just like, Wow, the week that I'm gone, it's like everything's going down. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, they they decided they wanted to leave and that was just that was just crazy. Like we we're getting ready to open up and then we lost all of our employees, yeah. basically. Yeah. I have a list of, of other of other um, girls and one guy that I really liked okay. that um, I think I already sent it to you, but yeah. we'll we'll figure that out. But yeah, yeah I'm just getting like no, anxious because yeah. it's like as soon as we were set to like relaunch and reopen, yeah, we got hit with the no notice employees leaving and. I have not had my nails done since. <laughs> yeah, doors. <laughs> Close down. Yeah, and honestly, with the pandemic and the lockdown, like um, I think you were saying earlier, like everybody's like working from home. Mm -hmm. It's not has not been easy to find amazing nail techs. Everybody wants to be their own boss now. Yeah. So everybody built their own home studios. Everybody wants to work for themselves, and that's why it's really hard to find people because everybody's like everybody that I'm DMing is saying, "Oh, I just built my own studio, but I'll, you know, if I'm if I'm if I'm interested in working in salon, I'll definitely want to work in your store." Yeah, like, yeah, totally. No, I mean, I, I know that's that's tr also true, but we can definitely just by the end of next week. Yeah, we should have we should have the, the employees locked down. Yeah. yeah. Do you know where the nail drills are? No. The, the drill bits. The drill bits, yeah, the small. Uh, ones. So it's like in a pack, right? Like in a, in a, a plastic bag. Maybe where the acrylics are? Is it like in that area? No, because I know the sand bits are down there. Well, there's about 20 acrylic powders missing. No way. 20? Yeah. yeah. This whole area was full. It was really was. was. Oh my god, sand. yes it was. And the bits are also gone. So right now we're in the process of hiring and we're actually, yep. you know. I had an interview last really week with a girl. Positive, amazing, loves her attitude. I have two more interviews this week, so we'll be opening up very so we're excited about that. And it's gonna be um, like a grand opening. Yeah. yeah. So in two weeks, yeah. that is the goal yeah. that we have right now to yeah. reopen yeah. in two weeks because we cannot, the lockdown already like killed us. We yeah. can't not like be open. Yeah. Yeah. And also, like, Pink Doors really has brightened up this street, Western Road. If you know Western Road, you know, uh, there wasn't any pink stuff. And no. Pink just... <laughs> it was a little gloomy. <laughs> yeah, it, was a little, it was a little gloomy, but it, like, it was just like this, like, Pink Doors is, is this bright star that's yeah. just right on the corner um, in the historic village that is just making everything just so beautiful. And honestly, we're not even open yet, but people keep knocking on the door. They're just like, can I come in? Like, <laughs> what can I get in here? Like, <laughs> soon, soon. And, and I love that that's the intention. When we open this place as sisters, we're like, you know what? We're a black owned business. We want to just create a space of love and just inclusivity and just diversity and just, I just, a place of love. Yeah. Pink represents love, exactly. self-love. Um, and that's why people feel feel really good when they come in, even yeah. though we're open for one day. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, Pink Doors is coming back strong. We're excited about the grand opening party. Um, we're just excited uh, to do things as a sisterhood. Yeah, this, was, this was years, years in the making. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, I cannot imagine your old employees taking things because you literally you held them down. You were so supportive. Of course. I know you don't want to get into this. Um, On a better point. note, what are we gonna want to do with this area? Oh, oh right, 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 exactly. Okay. So this is leaving. We yes. should do like a like a like a, another coffee area. Yes. yes. But I want like a huge mirror to kind of do, make this like a braid bar area. You got a cute pink salon yes. chair. Yes. Yep. So I've been I've been looking for a braider. Yeah. I found a few, but it's it's like not somebody that's here like every day. So, so like a braid bar slash ponytail bar. Yes. Because ponytails are pretty fast. Yeah. Slash like. Kind of like any any sort of pop up. It could yeah. be like piercing, yeah. which is great because I need some. <laughs> um, yeah, so we should brainstorm some ideas of like kind yeah. of like the rotating like business model of yes. this area because mm -hmm. it's such a nice. Uh, it's a big space. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I just feel like just having this is like a waste. It is. A waste of space. Me and my sister Iman, we <clears throat> work together. We're Pharaoh. We are artists, singers, writers. Some of y'all might know us. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, you know, we've 
always worked together, but it's like we've always wanted to just like do something with her. And this was this was like her idea. She's like, I want to open a nail salon. We're like, okay, we all came together yeah. to to make it happen. Yeah. And she's always been the unofficial third member of Fair. Because <laughs> my girl can sing too, <laughs> um, and she knows that. So it's just like it was always like in our world and yeah. our dream to do something together. Yeah. Um, but yeah, as Pharaoh, we've always worked together. Me mm -hmm. and her have been attached by the hip. Yeah, we literally <laughs> just moved back to Toronto just a couple of years ago. Yeah. Um, and the pandemic really slowed everything down, so I just feel like, when the hell did we move back? <laughs> um, but yeah, we're artists, we're singer-songwriters, she's a producer, she's also developing an app. Like, we're just doing a lot of creative things. Mm -hmm. I'm an energy healer as well, wellness professional, uh, Reiki master. Um, so energy healing is a big deal to me, and that's why, like, this location and the color we chose and the energy and intention we set in here it really did manifest yeah. like we yep. really set um an intention of love yeah honestly i'm proud of us it's not it has not been easy during opening a business during the pandemic so it's about to be lit when we reopen go you're about to drop this baby in three seconds baby shower soon yes <laughs> and honestly if i wasn't so pregnant i would be helping with pedicures and nails and because um, honestly like i'm really good at manicures you did your own yes yeah, it's cute. <laughs> um, I usually have long claws, but you know, the baby's coming and I just want to get ready. Have my short nails. He, he can come anytime, you know? So, yeah. Let me address the elephant in the room. Oh, you got an elephant? <laughs> <laughs> this little baby elephant. Um, I'm pregnant. Yay. And that has been. Yay! Gosh, <laughs> with me. Um, I'm just, I'm proud of myself, yes. Um, you know, it's a pandemic baby. <laughs> <laughs> You're killing your pregnancy. <laughs> yep. Um, and obviously, you know, this has also slowed down some of the creative things that we had planned um, mm -hmm. as a duo here. Um, but we still have a lot of plans for music. We're also podcasters. We have our Power X Wellness podcast. Um, a lot of things that we plan on re um, relaunching as yeah. we slow down. But um, the biggest creative project I have <laughs> is my little... Baby boy in here, I'm literally 36 weeks. Mm -hmm. Feel like he can I'm come ready any to, day at this point. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready to pop. He is a whole baby kicking. <laughs> um, and I'm just excited about, like, you know, meeting my baby. I'm Being excited about the, the baby shower. Yep. Yes, it's going to be in, I mean, oh, very soon. Long, five days now, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. We have a baby shower coming up. That's That's been, that's been interesting as well. <laughs> I mean, I don't want to talk too much about it because... My girl's right here. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. But I didn't even yeah. know it was, it was a surprise. No, no, it's not a surprise. It's just, you know, you don't need to be a part of the plan. <laughs> oh, okay. Right? Yeah. But, you know, a few people, like, you know, pulled out of, you know, doing um, certain uh, services. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think we got it now. We got it covered. Yeah, we got it covered, and you don't have to worry about it. Mm -hmm. Just bring you and the baby. <laughs> yeah. So we've wanted to document our lives for years, um, especially me and her. We were living out in LA with our music career, um, you know, doing everything that we're doing as songwriters, artists. And we just kind of felt like it was always just me and her. So we'd start, like we filmed little things, but we never actually quite started documenting our lives the way we wanted to. And then we moved back and then, you know, as sisters opening up this place, uh, Pink Doors and just being around our family that we missed it just made more sense to like just start filming and documenting because yeah. we are a modern somali family and i feel like i feel like know, we're the first somali family to open up a nail salon yeah in the world probably, <laughs> probably. <laughs> i don't know hey i i feel like i haven't seen it neither yeah. have i love it and um you know like even just like you know as the younger siblings like we're you know, we're not as traditional as our parents. And I just feel like sharing our lives, our personal lives, our professional lives, it's really, um, you know, inspiring. We people. have a dog and a cat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, having a dog in our community is not exactly, you know. That is, it is so, yeah, it's so random, but, you know, Somali people don't have dogs. So yeah. when they see me, they're just like, but you know what? Our mom, our mom actually had a dog in Somalia, but you know, it was in Germany. It was okay. like no, no, it was Somalia. It was in Germany. It was a German yeah. shepherd. It was a oh. German shepherd. <laughs> it was a German shepherd in Somalia. I was born in Germany. You sorry. were not alive, <laughs> yeah. so you wouldn't know. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. yeah. 
So oh my, God, my mom, our, my mom had a German Shepherd in Somalia. <laughs> Um, not in Germany. Yeah. But um I'm done. I'm but yeah, done. but it was like, you know, in, in Somalia it's like, oh, the dogs sleep outside. It's like it's not like a house pet. Pets, exactly. It's it's more of a Western culture that we're embracing by, you know, having your dog in your house and like cuddling with it and stuff. Um So yeah. the Hello Hashies is um gonna be a, a about our lives, just sharing our lives, day-to-day -day lives, what's going on in our lives, our personal lives, in the business, what's going on. It's gonna be funny, it's gonna be lit. We're freaking funny as hell. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna be, subscribe it's gonna be to support us <laughs> yeah. and see more of this. Yay.